It was nice to have the sun out this weekend. Yep. Uh, things are changing, aren't they? Going back to a spring pattern. Some storm chances are going to move in and by the end of the week temperatures big drop, <sighs> big drop. So even a chance of some frost. Wow, too. So get ready for it, folks, because uh, spring in the mid south. We get all four seasons, it seems like, in a week. Let's talk about uh, that in the forecast. First, though, I want to share with you some pictures from a visit today down in Fayetteville at Lincoln Academy, Lincoln Central Academy. Got to talk to the pre-K students there and take Storm 5 Titan down there to visit the pre-K students and all kinds of things. Weather great to be doing these in-person visits again and getting to show Storm 5 Titan off in person as well. So thanks to the classes that uh, again had me down there today. Really enjoyed our visit. Talking about uh, the uh, forecast as far as exact our uh, Skynet sites were concerned. Well, overall things there uh, temperature wise in the 70s. I can tell you that much. Let's look now at the power of five radars. We have got uh, some light sprinkles that are predominantly north of I-40, although a few have tried to develop here in southwest Tennessee. You can see these numbers. Uh, for most of us are in the 70s and some 60s out there. Want to expand the view and show you what's happening. We have got a system off to the west that's going to basically have some impacts to the forecast tomorrow with a cold front heading into Wednesday that's going to impact our weather. Right now, we've got an area low pressure stalled south of us. Moisture from the Gulf is in play. So going through the next two days, the threat of severe weather is going to predominantly be to the south, but you can see that threat shifting a bit more to the north heading into Wednesday with this front pushing through. So let's kind of time this out for you here with exact track through today, tomorrow uh, in advance of this warm front, some showers and storms potentially for the morning commute through lunchtime and then clouds still lingering as heavier rain pushes out tomorrow evening. Then Wednesday, I think the way this cold front works out, sure some showers along it, but I think by the time that we really start to see all the dynamics playing out, we'll see storms really developing in East Tennessee. So that's where the focus would be for severe weather Wednesday. Not too uh, worried as far as the dynamics over the midstate at this time. It's something we'll continue to watch closely for you. Now we'll get some decent rain out of the next two days. Uh, we're looking at about a half an inch to additional inch of rain that we've already seen uh, as we continue with our surplus for the year. 52 tonight. Look for a high temperature of 70 tomorrow, 73 on Wednesday, and then those numbers come tumbling down. In fact, Friday night to Saturday morning, eh, it's not unheard of or impossible, I should say, for a flurry or two to fall, but nothing that would accumulate because the ground will be too warm. It's that cold air catching up with the uh, remaining little bit of moisture and then some frost both Saturday and Sunday morning, Carrie. Yeah.